All right, let's do. Yeah, let's do the infantry wing. So that would be this guy here. Koenig, Koenigsegg. And he's within 10 of Brown, so he automatically activates, right? Correct. And, uh, yep. And, and only those commands that can trace to him are activated. Right, so that would be this one, this one, and this one. Right. But not the one way up north. Not the one way up north. Right. So, okay. So, he, so he's, or does he activate his out of command or is he just not activated? No, he's just not part of the wing activation, so he'd okay. activate separately. Okay, that, that works fine. All right, so what do we want to do? All right, I want to... All right, so da, 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 now I'll figure out what I want to do. It's funny, this actually reminds me of when you're playing Pendragon and <laughs> the Brit and the Britons get to go first and there are no barbarian pieces on the board yet. I'm like, <laughs> that hardly seems sporting, does it? Now... Uh, can a line unit back up one hex? Yep, requires a, uh, well, first of all, it doubles the movement points to do it, and it um, requires a disorder check. Plus five for each hex that you uh, do a line back up. Right. Interestingly, columns can't back up, only lines can. Oh, okay. All right, so that's... Well, it's generally easier. You just have everyone in line about face. Yeah. I, actually, I'm sorry. I, I misspoke, although the effect of it is the same. It, it doesn't double. It just increases by one the movement cost per hex. In practice, that often amounts to double, but strictly speaking, it's just oh, plus one. Oh, I can't one. do that. All right. You can't yeah, do fine. backup and rapid march in the same turn. And you can't do formation, extension, and contraction or oblique movement as part of backup movement. But otherwise, yeah, if you want to just back up. No, I, well, I, I thought about it because I uh, actually there's a movement penalty for going over and uh, one of the fortification things isn't there. So. Oh. Oh, yeah. And you're going up a slope as well. Well, the, that slope's only green, so I don't think it. So it's a, is it a plus one. Oh, it, oh, it is still if you're in line, one. yeah. So. Oh yeah, you're right. All the slopes count for something, don't they? Yeah. Even though, even the modest ones. It's mostly a nice rolling hill, but. Because I was thinking of backing this guy up into the the guns there, and you can stack infantry and. And artillery, right? Sure. But he can't do that because he doesn't have enough movement points because it's plus one for the slope and plus one for the, the field work. So that's um, double, right, going back, and it'd be one. So that would No, be but it's, it's not double going back. I mean, remember, I said plus one, actually, once I had a chance to glance at the rule again. Yeah, All so right, it, it would be... So I think could back that guy up and, and put him in line. Oh, now that's where you'd get into trouble because you can't do expansion and contraction as part of it. Well, he's already expanded. Oh, I'd have to go this way. No? Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I yeah, I mean, I guess way. that's... I could go that way. You could go there. Yes. Right. And that would have cost you... Four. One to move, plus another four. one for the backup, another plus one four. for going up the slope. That's three. And then another, another one for one going, for going over, over the field, over work. The field work. Ah, and then one more for the field works. Okay. Four. All right. So that's all four right there. Yeah. All right. Uh, and looking at the field works. Just 
shows no implication for stacking. They look like they are considered clear terrain. Because I don't see anything for stacking. There's no parentheses there. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, or maybe other terrain, but in yeah. this case, it's probably all. I'm just looking to see if there's any. They frequently have special rules that talk about terrain in the special rules for the game. Field works hex sides. And that's the thing. They're just hex sides. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Okay, that makes way more sense. I was really struggling with this because if you see, heavy field works is a P for artillery. All that really means, though, is that artillery is not allowed to cross a they field can't, works yeah, they can't hex pro, side. They, there's yeah. nothing to say that they couldn't sit behind. Well, they can't even go across unlimbered, or, or limbered, rather. Right. Uh, unless there's a road, presumably. Um but there's nothing to say they can't sit behind it because it's only a hex side. So, yeah. Okay. So then this guy is going... Oh, so I need to make a disorder check for that guy, right? Uh, Yeah, for sure. Let's do that. All right. Let's see what... And that's a plus five or... I don't know. Well, it's definitely plus five for the backing up. I'm just trying to determine if the... If the... Field works hex side also causes a an another multiplier. Just roll. I got thirty-seven. Oh well, that might thirty. Uh, there twenty-eight. Okay, so you can stand a plus five, but you can't stand a plus ten. Let me just double check and see. Is there field works? Field works only. Yeah, yeah. Don't block the line of sight. They are affecting terrain for the disorder check for series rule 8.7. So, yeah. Uh, so, in other words, it it was plus 10. So, you needed a 38. So, they're disordered. So, and, they're disordered, yeah. And so. And, and uh, does that work like that with the, them splitting their. What? You mean being in two hexes yeah. and having artillery in each of the two hexes? Yeah. Yeah. I was I was just gonna go double check how that gets handled. <laughs> um easy way to fix that problem, Dave, is just voluntarily route them. He's not wrong. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just voluntarily route. That might really be your best answer. Yeah. And then they just they just go running um, away, and and it's and whenever they recover, then you can move them back. Uh, <laughs> looking for <clears throat> boy, I should be able to find this, but I'm having to think about it a little bit. Um. Where's infantry and artillery? Well, go ahead and move your other stuff around, Dave. Okay. We're, we're figuring, well, that one's going back. Okay. He's going to do his disorder check. He's fine. Okay, I did find it. All right, let's... Okay. Um... So unlimbered artillery may only stack with other unlimbered artillery and or infantry in line, hook, attack, column, or square. Unlimbered artillery must have the same facing as the non-moving uh, unlimbered artillery or the infantry uh, in line, hook, or attack, column. Um, unlimbered artillery stacked with a square can face in any direction. An un unlimbered artillery unit that is stacked with a multi-hex line hook formation is not placed on any particular hex of the formation. Just place it above or below the infantry counter. When artillery is stacked with a square, it must be the top unit in the stack. If the infantry in a multi-hex line hook formation containing unlimbered artillery leaves the hex, the unlimbered artillery is placed in either of the multi-hex formation's original hexes. All right, so I can't really, because I would be 
I would probably exceed the, exceed the artillery stacking, right? About that, because uh, you're in two hexes. Yeah, because you've only got four increments in each hex of of infantry, right? Yeah, but the, but the the so okay. So what I, the way I'm understanding it? So when you got uh, this two. Yeah, th this is re weird because I would the way I understand it, then this would be where the artillery would be like that, right? Yes, that that's how the rule reads. So in that case, you'd have five increments of artillery. Am I reading those those right, or is it four? Four, I think. Yeah, the the uh, okay, artillery yeah, just two increments each. So you'd have four right, increments okay. of artillery, and uh, and then you've got, you know, your your eight increments right. of infantry, but the but it's spread out over two hexes. The maximum stacking in each hex in line is sixteen. Right. So what do the artillery count yes. for? Do they count for they, four for every they one? They count for, for four for every one. Yeah. So you've got, and so it means you've got that 12 you've got, in each. In each yeah, you've got so 12 fine. in each, which is well below yeah. the line limit. Yeah. You're so fine. I think you're fine. Okay. All right. And is it weird? Yes. I think it's very <laughs> weird. Because what it effectively means is that if you move out in your next activation, that suddenly, magically, the guns could have just slid over and they're all in one hex. But it doesn't happen very often, so I guess we don't worry about it. All right. Um, so this guy is going to go into a left hook. Is that a, something I right can right-click on? Formation. Let's see. That Capitelli's yeah, yeah, yeah. none of those guys. Right. Okay, so that's good there. Uh, but they, those guys can't because they are with a different command. Well, they're. They, but no, that, no, they're. Oh, they, they are. That's right. They're PY. Okay, sorry. Right. They, they had a different not colored color anything uniform. like the officer. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like, wait. It is a little confusing. Yeah. I, I, in fact, and then. Oh, that was the other. Uh, there's something special about the grenadiers there. With the, so, well, they're grenadiers. What's not to like? <laughs> well, I know, but their command grouse. Gless, um, Gesco, yes, Oberst Gesco. Uh, well, yes, I see what you mean. Um, they're independent units according to the OOB here. Um, but. But you're right. He has he's a special um, character. He, I think they can really either be activated as independent or as a separate. He's a special leader who functions as an ad hoc leader for the Austrian Grenadiers. He can be activated like any special leader, meaning during another activation. Or he can be activated as a command leader. When he's activated as a command leader, he has a command range and an initiative rating. He may activate any grenadier or artillery units within his command range. He may not attach units, and regimental integrity does not apply to grenadiers. He has no replacement. So, um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, all right. Well, just as for this one, they I activated them as an independent whatever, and with uh, with, with his command, so, with his wing activation. So he's activated just to get him out of the way. Um, I'm, am I done moving the rest of? I think I am done moving the. Uh, see that guy's in line front there. No, I do not. Let's. Do they have communic the idea of communicating battalions? Yeah. Uh, yeah the, okay. uh, there was actually a mention there that regimental integrity doesn't apply um, but for example uh, these two guys here right. are two battalions from the same regiment so that that if you're tracing command like you know to here and you can get him then he's automatically in command and and if you're tracing command you know, one hex, two hex, three hex, 
that's four hexes. Oh, okay. It's as if this is a single unitary oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, entity. Cool. All right. Yeah, because I was wondering how those guys down at the far end could, could uh, you know, without you moving your commander around, touch them. So, okay, cool. Yeah, exactly. That's... Um... Yeah, it makes these very long lines more practical than you think they are at right. first glance. And um, let's see, I'm going to do 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 do. Right. Now the howitzers can they fire over the units in front because they've got them set up behind these other units. I'm. Just... That's a great question. Howitzers. I would think so. Howitzers are indirect fire. Right. So... Yeah. Yeah. Of uh, Howitzer Combat Rules 12.6D. Oh, these rules just kill me. Because there's a <laughs> rule for everything. And you can find it pretty quick. 12.6D. Um... Providing the, f you can ignore friendly units for LOS purposes, providing the firing howitzer has an otherwise valid LOS to the target unit and the friendly unit is closer to the firing howitzer than it is to the target. However, howitzer unit firing over friendly units has its SPs halved and howitzer stacked with infantry must still be on top to fire, of course. Did that answer your question, David? I guess it does. It means that probably these infantry out in front of these howitzers probably needs to back up also. So. If I'm going to give them a worse than I'm. Well, and you'd need to change your orientation slightly, too. I don't think I'm in your in your firing arc currently. At least with But the... you can be sure he's gonna try. Yeah. <laughs> so we do that one, that one's all yeah, they can. those things got long reach. What's I guess they do fire pretty far. What is their range? 14? Yep. Yeah, the range isn't printed on the on the markers like it is with Lavatai. It's no. there on the uh, on the It's on the terrain fire, chart. Yeah, on the, the terrain chart. Uh, I like the, there, like the the like the mortars there at uh, Dresden that were raining shells on you. It's your turn I'm to sure get you some fondly payback. remember those. <laughs> so, oh, I think I think it's John Minich who fondly remembers those because I think I was <laughs> killing Prussian and Russian commanders left, right, and center. Nice. Dropping shells on them. So that did put a slight uh, slight crimp in his plans on that side of the battlefield. So what can you do well kill more uh, of them <laughs> okay so it was one of those things that i mean this is where the use of the command rules is has a lot of historic value because um if you were to look at like the russian replacements and certainly the french replacements you know a leader gets killed you know, there's half a dozen guys in Napoleon's staff who could take over, you know, for yeah. dead corps leaders and commanders and this and that and everything else. And the Russians had eh, a few people that could replace people. Mm. The Austrians had hardly anybody. And, uh, uh, interesting. And so, and the Prussians so were also... So things just really start breaking down if yeah. they... And so yeah. this this was something that, uh, that Ed Wimble, when he was watching those different uh, ones, had commented on. That you know the um, the French had a pretty deep bench of people. You know they've been they've been in these wars for a long time, and they you know it wasn't like they just yeah. ended. 
but the Prussians and the Austrians typically, you know, after the first season, they were either wiped out <laughs> or they sued for peace or something. So they, they didn't really have sort That's of That's true. The they stamina. didn't stay in the war. Yeah, they they kept jumping yeah. in and jumping out, but yeah. they didn't actually. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, and the Prussians uh, and the Russians tended to have a little bit more because they had, you know, kind of stuck with it longer. Um, so it was kind of interesting to see how that played out in the actual game where uh, I think when the Russians lost one of their commanders, they lost a command point because somebody had to step down and they were running out of people to, uh, you know, they didn't have anybody to fill in. And so then that puts a big crimp on the um, allies because now they've lost a command point. Right. Um, and the and the Austrians were close to the same thing happening. They had a couple of guys get knocked out. So right. that can kind of bog down your whole game. Your, yeah. You know, uh, because now suddenly you've lost leaders, you've lost command points. Right. And uh, it's just like with, uh, you know, at... at uh, what is it? Uh, our shot, you know, Brunswick gets shot through the eye and suddenly everything falls apart. So, yeah. Now what do we do? Exactly. All right. Are we ready to roll some more dice? Or are you going to shoot some guns? Quite. At I've, us? I've got a, I'm, I'm figuring out the movement for one other guy here. Um, this guy right here. I don't want to get him out of the way. So if I get a chance, so I'm going to go into column in the square here facing that way so that's plus that's two if i read the chart correctly and then he's going to go three four right there and i think that's the last of my move All right, what's next? So that will flip flips this guy. Uh, flips this guy. That flips this guy. And that flips this guy. All right. Okay. All right. I keep forgetting that fire combat comes at the beginning before the movement. I'm like, are you going to shoot That's at right. me? And you're like, oh, yeah, then I realized. <laughs> I, I can't. Can't, yeah, because he had somebody there. All right, I guess we go back to the dice. Yep. All right, who rolled first? I did. Okay. Uh, my, uh, For some David, reason, that's just go? become our order. Yeah. So go for it, Eric. Okay, here I go. Uh, Sixty-one. Yeah. Woo woo woo. Okay, Party that's going to be a wing for the Prussians. For the Prussians. Okay. Do you want to do anything exciting, Michael? Do I, you have anything that mean, you can do? I, I'm pretty sure that the troops I control are all the ones that are off the board to the north. Oh, okay. Does that because mean I'm, that they can I'm, do anything? I'm pretty. Well, they can, but I mean they're. They're going to enter in road order. There's no reason for us to worry about them. Okay. So, so you do you. So here's the question. What should I do? Oh, dear. Well, now that's <laughs> a rather more complicated one. Um, that's an interesting one because I, I, I will tell you from experience that those grenadiers are tough. Right. And, and the fact that they're artillery supported on both sides doesn't help. Right. Uh, so just... Just charging pell mell at them probably isn't terribly useful, um, especially because you've got a crap ton of reinforcements coming. Yeah. And to be fair, he's got some too, but you've got more than he does. Right. So it seems like seems like I, I don't know if I'd be just wildly off and engaging straight away. Okay. Um, I think I'd be inclined to you know, let the rest of that infantry make its way forward, get them set up. Uh, then the question is, is where do you want the, the main vector of the attack? Um, 
when does Zeton come in? Uh, I think Zeton comes in at, I want to say 10. Okay. Uh, yeah, Zeton is in at 10. Braunschweig is in at at 1020. So I think that's your stuff that's coming yeah. in there. Um, yeah. Yeah. So what I've got is 7017 to 7033. So it's all of those hexes marked four. Yeah. Okay. So Zeton comes in over there, which could have the advantage of, you know, dislodging the the, the right flank because right now the the Austrians have a flank against that um, against that pond. Right. So obviously that won't last very long because uh, because Zeton can unhinge that. Right. Um, so. So should I bring yeah, my I, reinforcements up? Was that a better use for my wing? Well, activation? I mean, the, I think the only reason why I wouldn't immediately think to do that is unless you're planning on leaving the road. I mean, obviously, if you're planning on leaving the road, then yeah, you'd want to go ahead and activate them. If you're staying on the road, then you could wait till the end turn, right? There's no rush. Right. So it, it just kind of depends. But if you don't really have anything else urgently you've got going on, I guess I guess my sense of it is I probably would wait for Zeton to show up before I got too crazy with the cavalry. Right. I think it's safe to say your cavalry's better than his, but you don't want to get into a fight where he's got all those hussars around the side, you know, right. being able to pick off your units once they're disordered and stuff. So, you know, even if, even if you move forward a little bit with the cavalry and you certainly could, I, I wouldn't get close enough to actually get into a, a real fight yet. Okay. Um, and then as far as the infantry, yeah, the infantry, I'd kind of really be reluctant to get too close because you're going to be in artillery range pretty quick. Yeah, and I don't, I and don't then, have anything followed up with yet. So, and that's the other problem. Yeah. So then the question is: is what do you, what would you like to do with the, with the reinforcements that are coming on? Um, um, unfortunately, they are, you know, whether well, it's it's a little awkward because they've actually passed the point of being able to go along the Kaiserstrasse. <laughs> yes. Um, obviously, you could peel those units off and just have them march cross country and you know and then just have everybody else march up the Kaiserstrasse. I mean you you've got choices there. There's also the choice of you know marching all the way down south and and coming across the creek and through that village and then attacking the right wing of the Prussians or of the Austrians rather. Right. Right. So I mean you know Unfortunately, what's not obvious is, you know, just forming a second line behind the existing infantry. I guess you could do that. If you went west on the Kaiserstrasse and then just turned, right? you could, you could form a secondary line behind the, the, the infantry line there. That would make some sense. Well, and then the other question is, what are you going to be doing with your guys? Yeah, and, you know, you'd think that we'd be having this conversation while, you know, David isn't listening. <laughs> well, David can't do anything about it anyway. <laughs> oh, no, that's not true. He's got reinforcements coming on. Oh, that's true. He could do something really, really incredible. I can go to him. another room or whatever. And you can, yeah. When, you know, when, when you're when, done discussing when, this. Yeah. Where, 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 where do we... We, we... we would go down to, uh, well, we're in we're in the Labatai. We could go I to guess, French. I guess we'd... French we'd need to quarters. Go. <laughs> oh, French. Yeah, that'll confuse everybody. All right, we'll go to the French page quarters. Nobody okay. will think to look for us there. All right. All right. That's weird. I've never had it ask me, are you sure? Yeah, it's it's new. It's starting to do yeah. that. I mean, most of the time we haven't done it because with Brandywine, we were all in the same boat. No, no, totally. It was yeah. really back to Moscow was the last time we yeah. would have done that. Yeah, it's something new that they've added a while ago. Right. You know, so, to be honest with you, I was I was tempted to march it down to Sterbelhof. 
Uh huh. Um, and like turn their, you know, their, uh, I guess that would be their right wing. Um, uh, y- yeah. And, uh, you know, to, uh, to figure that your cavalry is going to go crashing forward probably after 10 o'clock once Zeton shows up. Right. And probably it's going to be an utter shit show of cavalry just swarming, you know, like wildcats and zeros. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you know, you could maybe go ahead and uh, and bring those guys forward and, and do exactly that and just aim to 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 roll back their 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 right flank. So yeah. uh, that's a fine approach. I got no problem with that. Um, so then the question is, um, do we? You know, do I come south and go west on the Kaiserstrasse in order to support? Or do I go southwest from where I am and try to bum rush the the field works there and, you know, force them to spread out? Well, and part of what I'm looking at it here now, when I'm looking at the order of battle, um, so say with Fouque, right? and Hotch yep. Arnie, um, those guys are wing commanders, is that correct? Yeah. Oh, okay, so. Yep. That's right. Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to head due west because I've that? got, <laughs> so uh, I've already got uh, part of one of my wings here and part of a different person's wing over here, Treshaw is part of somebody else's wing, right? He's part of Hot Charney's. Yeah, Treshaw is part of, yes. Yeah, yes, so I is. would, I mean, if I... And the rest of them are, are back there in the back? Uh, what are those yeah. guys doing there? They are, they are marching up, so um, I think but, I would... But that's just... Wait a minute, though. Is that... Oh, that really is their whole command. Yeah. Oh, how weird. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have to... So Kalkruth is... Who's he part of? Kalkruth is part of Hatchermon. Yep, he's part of Hatchermon. And Treshaw is already on the map. It he's is kind on of the on, map. He's, he's on he's my right... right. He's the right, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then I've got somebody else who starts with a Y. Well, oh, that is that is the wing leader, Hachimoy. Oh, right, right, right. So, that yeah, he's y. not there yet, but he's... It's F, it's Fouquet. Fouquet, yep. That, that the KS Kersel unit is already on the board, but Saldern is still coming in. Uh... In fact, he's the lead unit coming on. Yep okay wow okay well so yeah it either means you'd have to rearrange your lines right because it means you'd have to to basically take what's your right and pass it over to the left in order for those guys to come forward that seems awkward yeah no i think what i'm going to do is um go down the kaiserstrasse and or some of them go down the Kaiserstrasse and um, and then form up with the yeah yep, form the, up the on the that side. So I, because otherwise we'll spend forever and a day doing some additional okay. maneuvering, and then I'll just I'll hit them on that side and you you know straight on into the into the teeth of the lion and you can maybe do something clever um, with your guys either marching them down. Uh, to come up on my right or to try to come through some of the gaps there, depending on what you want to try. Yeah, see that, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out because if I come down, you're probably going to go west on the Kaiserstrasse and then go south from yep. there. You're probably, and, and so you're saying that if I come down the Kaiserstrasse, I'll just head straight west. Yeah, that's where, and then what I'll do is I'll be south of the Kaiserstrasse, and you could then be, you know, north of the Kaiserstrasse or on the Kaiserstrasse. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think that's the way to go. Um, 
I'm thinking I will probably march at least one command temporarily down that southwest road towards his earthworks just to try to draw his attention. Yeah, you could do that. And, I, uh, don't, and I know that I don't, historically there was fighting there at, at Tej and some of the other Yeah, stuff, so. and, and I'm not totally opposed to that, but it just seems... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be tough terrain to try to fight your way through. Yeah. So I'm not really convinced that makes a lot of sense. I may just come down to the Kaiserstrasse and head west, yeah. and but it's going to take me a while, of course. Yeah. Well, we'll so, figure it out. All right. Well, let's get back there, and uh, we, we we at least theori theoretically have a plan. <laughs> and now all four people on the Internet now know. Yes. All right. Back. We are back. We are back. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to activate, as a wing activation, I will activate my uh, cavalry under Sonach. And just going to scoot them forward a wee bit. So, we can go... Just like that. Oh, that's so nice. And the cavalry, do cavalry go, can they do echelon or does it cost them twice as much to do echelon? No, no. No, they, they are free to okay. they maneuver can without ahead. worrying about uh, oblique marching. Okay. All and, right. and your Prussians anyways, and the, you don't have oblique marching anyways. There you go. Then you're probably right. That's a good point. Yeah, the Prussians are uh, uh, in this game. They can they can go oblique without it costing the extra movement point. So, all right, that's it for me. I'll flip this guy. And I'll flip this guy. And I'll flip this guy. All right, time for somebody else to throw the dice now. Boom. All right, zero two zero special, two. special. the first special results of the game. Uh, it's got to be got to be something exciting, and it's a two, so it's an Austrian initiative special results. This is army leader laps. Uh oh, the army leader may not trace his LOC or use his command rating, and there's a little star by it. What's the asterisk mean? Uh, probably means um, well that's a good question what does it mean because um, there seems to be one next to fate there seems to be one next to army leader lapse there's one next to command confusion oh 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 it's uh, it says under uh, there under initiative special results it, it says for this section it says can be applied to off map units Oh, okay. Oh, note, by the way, what that means. Fate could actually have a fateful effect on any of those leaders, whether they're on the map or not. Ah, yes. That's, that's messed Frederick, up. All right, so, Frederick's horse tripped. Yeah, I mean, sure, it's, why not, right? There so that's go. an Austrian two, so that means that the Austrian leader has lapsed. There you go. All right, so, so Austrian on. units then have to put themselves in command. Yeah. Which is a good thing that I did a wing activation <laughs> with the infantry. Because I guess so. <laughs> that's the only thing he was affecting anyway. Okay, well, there you go. And and by the way, the, the other thing about that command, it's a little unusual, is that um, if you get a leader lapse again during the same turn, it basically means the lapse comes off. It becomes unlapsed. Unlapsed. We may be making up words at this point. There we go. That is, that is what we meant. And there's actually a spot on the uh, turn record track to, to record that. So I'm going to take one of these finished markers. and. What? Oh, my gosh, you're right. Look at that. I've never seen that before. That's great. Oh my gosh, I just hit the end turn marker instead of the... Oh! Uh, undo. Hit yep. the undo. There we go. 
instead of going to the I I turn did that track, in a, yeah I did that at Brandywine a couple of times yeah it's easy to do I'm glad you did that because that actually did I'm using finished markers and they all disappeared. On my uh, on my order of battle thing to see who I still need to activate and everything. Oh, it's even taking him off of your order of battle. Oops. Are they back now? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're back now. And, and okay. That, that, oh, okay. Which means that I'm actually going to uh, replace it with something else. But uh, here, that, that's not going to disappear when <laughs> when, you, when you hit that. Well, maybe so. you want them to disappear, right? Yeah. Put, put disorder markers on them instead. Or route markers shaken. Well, but but wouldn't you want that to go away at the end of the turn? No, no I want. He, it. Yeah, he's just but, trying to see what's on whatever. what he has to play with. Okay. Right. Yeah. And what All I'm right. going to do is move them off again. You know. With, I with, see. With All turn. Right. But if they disappear, that means I have to go figure out. You got to go find them again. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. All you right. Should. Never mind. All right. So go ahead and re-roll. Correct. You still there? I'm here. I, you, oh, yeah. you rolled the zero two. You need to re roll. Oh, I did. I yeah. Said, oh, okay. I was yeah, thinking you, you roll it. All right. Okay. And we're back to it. That's another Austrian wing, if there is a wing for the Austrians to use. My cavalry wing. Is that oh, there you go. They'd have to activate himself, of course. But <laughs> but he would, anyways, because he's not in range of Brown. and, and Exactly. Uh, and so. I picked him because he actually has an activation of seven. So I, I do a single die, right? Uh-huh. Six. In well, there place. you go. And I think he's, yeah, he's seven. So he activates his wing. All right. Ah. There and let's There. And I can also activate Haddock, right? He's Haddock is a different, he's not, I don't think he's part of. Uh, he's independent. Haddock? Yeah, yeah, he's got a little gray bottle, a bubble. So, yeah, I guess he is a independent command. looking at the order battle oh track. yes yes yeah. yes yes um it's yes it's an independent command and what is the rule okay how now that it, part of his command is out of command how does that work you, oh well, no, okay well hold on Let, let's back up a step we're doing a wing activation here wing activation and i'm including his independent command is part of my wing. Mm. 
I don't think you can. You can activate independent units as part of your wing activation, but I don't think you can do an, a separate command. I'm double checking. Independent, independent. Come on. Um, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't, that's not really answering my question. Okay. Um, wing leader must be in command or put himself right. Wing activation allows the activation of each of the unactivated commands that have LOC traced to it from that wing leader. The wing leader cannot trace an LOC from one of its commands. The command is not activated as part of the wing activation, though it can be activated separately later. Also, just because a command is in the wing leader's LOC, it doesn't have to be activated with the rest of the wing. It's optional. Commands participating in a wing activation are activated together and execute the command activation phase simultaneously. Wing activation completely optional. Um, and, and I don't see how you could activate an independent command with a wing. Okay. You could you could activate independent units, but not an independent command. That would require a separate activation. Okay. Uh, I, I've just, it's been a while, but I remember vaguely from Shatuzix, I had an independent command. And I don't remember what we did with him, but yeah, because I had one cavalry commit. So yeah, I mean, the cavalry was an independent the, little independent. Yeah, you're right. No, there was one on your left flank. Yeah. And it's it's like an a separate command. It doesn't have a, a wing structure. So it, and of course, usually it's somebody with a really good initiative rating, um, and and you can obviously trace back to the army leader, but it is a separate command, so it wouldn't be part of a wing, so it couldn't activate with the wing. I'm not sure yeah. if we allowed it, but I I can't imagine why though, because it doesn't really it doesn't make All sense. Right. Yeah. All right, so that's. Yeah, independent units and non-command leaders can be activated as part of a wing activation. That's 6.6e. .6 so, um, but back to your point about Haddock, when he does actually move, then... Yeah, I mean, obviously those units up there in the north are all going to be marked as out of command and there'll be half movement. Oh, wow. Well, looks like the uh, Austrians aren't going to sit around and wait. <laughs> David is out for blood. That's how he operates. All right, are we done? Are we ready to roll some more dice? I uh, think we are. Okay. Looks like he's flipped the leaders over, so yeah. it looks like he must be done. All back, right. Back to you. Michael's got a 32. Okay, that's that going to be a... We still haven't had an end turn thing, so... Just give us time. Oh, yeah, 10 is our number, right? Yep, in fact, I've marked it on the uh, turn tracker. Oh, right. wow. God, you're so... All right, uh, so what do we want to do? So, Michael. Okay, Michael. you you are you are Frederick the Great. So you tell me what to do. Oh, stop it! <laughs> so, so you've already uh, wing activated your cavalry. It appears. Correct. Yep. Okay. Um, well, if you're not really going to bring the infantry forward, then then maybe you just go ahead and bring up your your units in the back. Okay. All right. I can do that. I think. So now it's a single activation, so you're gonna have to activate one command. Right. 
And as we just discussed, your commands are a little bit, um, yeah. I think, I think foobar is the word we want to go with here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we are going to activate this one here, which is solve them. And, um, yeah. And we're going to. Now, he is definitely not in command, so he's going to need to put himself in command. Okay. So you might want to just. So he's a five. Roll. Roll and see what you get there. Okay. Roll the two. Okay. So he's no in problem. Command. Yep. All right. So, um, so. To be honest, when I thought those were my guys, I think what I what I was thinking about doing is just really splitting them up into two parallel um, columns. Okay. And just because it it would require all of the movement for those guys who've already moved south of the Kaiserstrasse to turn around and face north again. Right. And and then. Then they'd be blocking. Yeah, they'd know, be either, blocking the road for anybody else coming down the road. They'd yeah. be, yeah. It just it, nobody else could go through because otherwise they're getting separated. So my thought was, you know, just go off road with the guys who've already passed the Kaiserstrasse and have the ones who can make it to the Kaiserstrasse just go west on the Kaiserstrasse. Will they go faster? Yeah. So what? Yeah. You know, obviously, just make sure the leader ends up plopped in the middle where he's able to keep everybody in command. And that that was what I was thinking I would do. Okay. So looking here at this lead unit, um, it would cost us one to go there. And then uh, taking him out of road and putting him no, into... Stay in, I mean, you stay can in stay road. in road if you want. I mean... I, I... Oh, yeah, yeah, we could. Uh, so well, that's going to be uh, honestly, I guess there's, I guess there's very little benefit to it, three, honestly. Which is a matter of where you're going to cross the creek. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was just going to head due west. I, I wasn't going to go down the road at all. Because, because remember, the other, the other half of his command, right, is this guy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So he's got to try so, to get over there. So. So it seemed like, why would you go running down the road when you could just go cross country due west? Okay, I'll do that. I mean, and then, like I said, the other guys could go on the Kaiserstrasse and then just turn south. Okay, so we take him out of road column. So how much does that cost me to do? Uh, well, actually... Mm, or can I stay in road right. column but just not be on the road, or does it matter? Oh, okay. Let's think about that for a minute. <laughs> and, and I've... And, and David, you and I have had this conversation before about the facing changes. Right. Um, like, like when does the facing change happen? Like, for example, whoops. When the guy entered the hex, he was facing that way. Right. As he was walking down the road. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think we've kind of talked about how, well, yeah... Now, that's, that's if he I... wants to follow the road, no big deal. He can do that as part of his movement. So and I, I... I think the way the rules stated is facing is the is from uh, what his facing would be from the hex he entered. So it's the rear. Yeah. So that's that's his facing in that hex. Okay. So if that's the case, and you wanted to go from road column to march column it would cost you one movement point per hex difference between the size of the road column and the size of the march column with a minimum cost of one okay so, so it would cost, cost so it cost you one right. basically for the road column to form up into a march column okay All and right. so just you know delete so got that, that. Okay. And now you're at one hex, uh, and you're, and you're, and you goes, know, it's a half, it's a half per hex, of course. Oh, yeah, that. yeah, you're right. Oh, I forgot. I can still keep thinking it's one for one. <laughs> so it's so one, that's one so and a half now. Two. That's two, yep. There's three. 
That's right. Okay. And then um, and then I guess this would make it four? It would, yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. That's right. And then this guy just behind, he's going to come down, and he's... So that's so one. That's, that's one, and he's actually facing that yep. way. And so then we bring him out of road column. That's going to be... Two. Two. And that's going to be three. And that's going to be four. Exactly. Okay. And then everybody right. else should be two hexes behind the chap who is in front of them. If we're going to keep things I simple, would expect right? so, so, yes. One, yeah, if you wanted to do that, you probably two, could. Yeah. Three. Three to come out four. of road and four. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, that's easy. And then this guy, I think, is part of the same group, so that's going to be yeah, he is. One, one, two, two three, three, four. And then four gets him out of road column. And changes facing. Yeah. So, all right, so everybody's in march. Everybody's moved along. Right. Life is, is that, great. Now, the question is, are those guns part of his command? Guns, guns are almost always independent in this series. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So you you can activate them with any uh, formation. Oh. Um, so if you want to, you could do it right now just to go ahead and move them. Obviously, you could alternately just do it with the next activation the, for the guys that are trying to come on. Right, yeah. E and either then, way. It's okay, cool, Six cool. one, half dozen of the other. All right, I will, uh, I will just go ahead and leap this guy. Okay, that's it. Okay. That's my exciting thing. Hey, first class. Just first class. All right, uh, I think it's your roll. Okay, here we go. 41. It's okay, another crush. Us, us again. So, um, I, I, I think and, I still have to be it, doing since it's my detachment, right? Yes, yes, it is. Now, I do want to tell you something that I just observed as I was getting ready. Yep. And that is that way up at the top of the board, where yeah. my guys are coming on. Yeah. Those two guys there. They're part of mine. <laughs> yeah. They're Triscows. Okay. So I will send them down your way. Obviously, they're not going to make, you know, land speed records unless I send a commander with them to to, to, to attach them. But um, anyway, I'll send them down your way. Um, so... Who's next? Who's behind him? Um, That's Kalkruth. So we've got uh, Kalkruth and Brandis, and and then I guess General Hotchoni. Oh yeah, well he's the the wing commander for Kalkruth yeah. and Treskow. Right, but now Brandis, I don't know who who Brandis he's part of belongs. Lestmitz. Yeah, so he's part of Kleist's group. Or he's part, yeah, Lesvitz. I don't he know and Kleist are part of Lesvitz's group, yeah. and I don't know where the rest of those guys are. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like Lesvitz is, is and with, Kleist are up at the very north. They're up with me. Yeah. All right. Well, just uh, to to our previous conversation, just when they come on. Well, I mean, I guess I'll march them on because I guess they're mine, because they're not part of the. Uh, they're not part of the detachment. They're not part it, of the detachment. Because the detachment is refreshing my memory. Is it's uh, Shonok, Fouquet, and Harchemoy, yep. as well as Winterfeld. So yep. basically, just the top row of our order of battle. Yep. And everything else is not. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so, what should I move? Are you going to move those two guys, or should I move these other people that are here on the road? I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, yeah, strictly speaking, Calcuth, I guess. It, yeah, I mean, just I'm going to just bring bring guys on. Yeah. So I'll move the artillery um, with this. So it's going to be one and two gets it here, and then. Three, four, because it moves faster on the paved road. 
Yep. Oops. There's our arm facing. All right. Oh, right. Yeah, definitely. Not as fast as those crazy American roads where, you know, it's three hexes for a half a movement point. <laughs> All right. And it's like these those guys. interstate highways. Crazy. All right. Um, let's see here. I got all these guys here. I gotta I think they're all part of the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, and you can have how many? It's got to be what three or four per road. Is it four per road? Uh, road for infantry. Four infantry. Infantry. It's infantry. It's four. Okay. Yeah. So those right. those guys all need two hexes. Right. And we need to clone some road markers. Oh my gosh. You're one of those people, huh? <laughs> what? Somebody is turning the markers. Somebody's like, oh, the little arrow's got to point the right direction. Oh, for God's sakes, yes, <laughs> absolutely they do. I'm like, really? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, come on, man. I'm one it, of those kind of people. It, if you're not, you know, got a little OCD tendency, why are you playing bar? I mean, that's kind of my <laughs> feeling about it. I I don't. That's why I mostly play La Bataille. <laughs> why did is, they write? Stuff is just strewn all over the map. Higgly, ah, piggly. Ah, higgly, piggly. Nobody cares. Oh, no. I, I start twitching. I just, I couldn't handle it. All right. All right. I have moved Calc Ruth. We are. Excellent. We are excitement. Woo. Excellent. David. Rolling. We still have not moved the end turn. One yet. for you. And we still haven't moved the end turn marker. That's a good point. Um da, 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 da. so it looks like all right. So let's all right. What I will say, Eric, is next time you get a chance. Oh, I'm going to move cool. uh, Hotchney. I didn't realize that he was floating around up there. Yeah, just go ahead and bring him on. Yeah. Um, just when you activate Treskow, just let's don't forget to move those guys up north. Okay. They're they're out of command, so they're only going to be able to move half speed, but at least we can, first of all, get them out of the way. Right. Um. Uh, well, actually, let me think about that. Um, how do I want to handle that? I wonder if there's somebody I can have to attach to him. There's a chat. All right, what did you decide to do, David? Uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to activate Haddock. All right. The other cavalry command here, and I'm trying to figure out what's, uh, one hex line cavalry to one hex march column. Oh, my. Uh, Which way? I see infantry at one diagram. I don't see one. Mm. One or two hex cavalry is down in the bottom. Diagrams on top as a guide to how to make the formation, but of course use the cavalry costs. What are they? The cavalry costs are at the bottom of the chart. He says that so confidently, but hasn't actually found the piece of paper that it's on. Yeah, I'm looking at it here. So you're going from line to march. Okay, so you use the bottom of the half of the page for the cavalry of any length, one to three, one to three hexes that make formation chain listed. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it looks like if you turn to your right, it's only going to cost you one. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So if they just all kind of 
Uh, turn to the right. Yeah, these four, they're going to... Okay. All right, so I guess I first got to see if I'm in command. So I roll one die. Boom. And two, he's in command. Uh, um, all right, so now I do... The four. So the four at the top only have two movement points. Is that correct? Yeah, because it's half. Yes, that's right. And it, well, no. Wait a does minute. It round up they or does it round down? Don't... They're cavalry. Or three, they got four command. movement points, right? Oh, oh they're seven. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, they're half. Yeah, they're four. I was thinking, wait a minute. <laughs> that's the slowest light cavalry ever. That's because they got machine guns mounted. Oh, dear. Mounted on their not bicycles. But they're light machine guns. They That's are, why they're light they cavalry, light right? machine guns, yes. Yeah, they're not heavy good. machine guns. Light no, that would be ridiculous. Yeah. So let's... All right, so they're going into column. That's one. That's two. There. That's three. That's four. Is it really four? If they're in column, wouldn't they be moving at half per hex they enter? Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, okay. I'll take your word for it. I wasn't. Didn't counting. move very far. Well, it took. You know, oh, but just changing facing costs a lot. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. No, you're right. It's not as far as you think it's going to be. Um, it, it is normal just changing face is one or right yep okay All right. yeah All right. unless you're terrible french infantry or american infantry All right. so, so then this group down here You have some very pretty uniforms on your on your hussars there. Yeah, they are very nice, aren't they? I like that teal. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the, the there, teal. there isn't there isn't any penalty for ending up in the uh, uh, same hex, right? Stacking wise. Yeah, I'm not sure I understand. I mean, you unless mean. you're in a different formation, right? No, uh, like if I want both of this one and this one to end up in that hex there's no oh oh no that's uh, that's fine okay. yeah all right so so that's four and four and three four there um and this other all right so other group actually do I want to do that I can do it next turn all right all right so the other group up here will be all right column there Oh, actually, let's see what's. So I can do any of them this side. That's one. Two. Three, and I'm only going to go this way. All right. Okay. Finito. Uh, 
So just asking, because you're free to do whatever you want. But now you've got guys that aren't in command on both ends of your formation. Oh, they're in command. Oh, did it? Wait, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. I was tr I was counting from the wrong guy. Sorry. So now he's in one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's five to here, and it extends to him, right? No, that that's fine. Yeah, it's just you you were kind of like you you weren't reaching back to the guys in the back, and you weren't reaching all the way to the guys in the front either. And I'm like, I'm sure that's not what you meant. Yeah, no, I I, mis I was actually thinking that was the oh um, sure the, that makes sense commander, okay. and I had it one in front. I know I can't get the other one in. You know there was no un understood. I mean you'll you'll need another turn for sure. <laughs> okay, no. all right, Artem. time to roll the dice again. I think it's me now. Yeah, back to you. Look, it's me, and it's a wing ding activation. Um, what am I doing here? L. And that's V. Um, it, please carry on, Eric, however you like. Oh, okay. Um, In fact, I was... I was just reading in some rules that actually I, I can plop some non-command leaders on those two b battalions of Tresco's guys and and have them rush down with these wing leaders. Oh, okay. Using attachment. All right. Um, You've got extra extra leaders. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, you this is thousands. it's not called Frederick the Great for nothing. Exactly, man. All right. Large so I guess I will here. activate Treshow, right? Um, you don't need to. I guess that's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, okay. Uh, be because they can, and and this is not something we've dealt with before, but I'll just point it out. And it's not something that happens terribly often, but it's worth remembering. So it's called attachment. Okay. And the way attachment works is an unactivated combat unit of one command mm -hmm. can be activated as a temporary member of another command, provided the unit is stacked with a leader who is also being activated. Oh, okay. The That's combat cool. unit is said to be attached to the activated command. The leader can be the activated command's leader or a non-command leader that's also being activated along with the command. So in this case, since I really probably don't really need wing leaders at the moment, I'm right. just thinking I'll just stick uh, Bevern and oh, who's the other one? Well, uh, Bevern and Lest bits. I'll just stack on those two guys and right. just bum rush them down the highway so they're not moving at half speed. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. And then I'll just attach them to my first activation. So you don't even need to worry about them. They will be part of somebody else's activation. Okay. So you do whatever you need to do. Um, so when I look at you, when I'm looking at your auto, your uh, order of battle here, all those guys at the top level of each one, those are all wing leaders. Yeah. You got lots of wings, don't you? Yep. Yeah, it is a lot of wings. That's probably why they had that rule for. Three, four, Just five, six, any four, activation is a five. wing activation. Well, that's an interesting point because basically you're only getting two commands. It's not like the Austrians. If the Austrians were getting wing activations, they'd be getting, what's that? Cool. He's got, what, six, six. commands? And, well, he's not. One exec is five, so yeah. that's a bunch. Yeah, it, we have a lot of wing leaders. Yeah. Is that good or is that bad? I don't know. All right. Well, I don't have a wing to activate. Um, I don't. But do you? Well, I guess I can just shake out my line here a little bit with Treshow. Or do I not want to activate Treshow now? Oh, uh, well, there's no reason to do it now. Okay. So actually, I guess another way of thinking about it is um, going back to the detachment rules. Right. We've got to finish all of your 
um, detachment activations, but I think we've determined that the guys who are off the map now where your guys came in are actually part of the main army. They're not part of your detachment because they're part of Leshtvitz, right? Right, yeah. The The only thing that's part of mine, I guess, would be this artillery that I didn't... Um, I mean, it's independent, so we can move it, but it, yeah, I mean, it, you're, should, you're, it should come you're on certainly, behind this. You're, you're certainly free to just bring them on and fill in behind your yeah. infantry there, but that would have been part of the last activation, yeah. not this one. Yeah, I didn't see so them. So feel free time. if you want to. And then... And then really, obviously, you're not required to activate all of these guys in your main infantry line if you don't see any need to. Uh, and if that's the case, then we could just pass it over to me and I'll just start doing my thing. Okay, yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that then? Because the only thing that I thought would just kind of shake out the line a little bit, but that's really not going to make a difference. Okay, well, yeah, like I said, you'll, you'll lose your chance, basically. So if there's any interest in doing something, feel free to do it. Um, yeah, because I was just... Uh, I'm going to go I refill my drink while uh, you yeah, guys... I didn't know whether you know I mean? it made... Because these guys are, like, double stacked. Did it, does it make sense to unstack them? Oh, well, yeah, you're quite right. I didn't realize that. Yeah, you, you certainly... Especially with his twelve pounders yeah, over there, a big fat it, target. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense for those guys to to all be making enormous targets. And oh my god, they're all double stacked. Yeah. Well, yes. Well, the first four. Yeah. Still, so I thought still I, would, I okay. would. I could do this guy here, right? Um, Cursal. Um, yes. Right. Yeah, and and what are you imagining? You're just gonna. I'm just gonna. I could just back one of these guys here and back another one guy here, and then I'd have. I mean, I could no oh, okay. here and here, yep. right? So there. Yeah, I was, just... I was. I was gonna say that that probably makes sense. And who's back there? Oh, it's just the leader and the and the wing leader yeah. are back there, right? So yeah, I mean, all that costs you is a is a. Just cost like two points or. Yeah. Well, yeah, it costs two movement points and then obviously a disorder check, which is no big deal because you got the wing leader and the command leader there anyway. So right. if you failed either one of them, the leader cleans the it leader up can move next time. So uh, stop moving. Just, just throw those two if you want and away you go. Okay, so a disorder check for that chap. Mm -hmm. He's fine. Yep. Disorder check for that chap. Oh, he's yep. fine. Okay. All right. Okay, so then... Put All the right, leaders. So Cursal is there. Done. And then Foucault is my wing leader. I don't need to do anything with him right now, I guess, but. Oh, yeah, because it was a wing, wasn't it? No, I don't think it was. Okay. Oh, it was. I'm sorry. Yeah, it I was. had a wing activation what? for what it's yeah. worth. Yeah. Because you've actually already activated the other half of that wing because they were coming in off board. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's that. All right. Very good. So that's done. And uh, it was my die roll. So now I guess it's your die roll. Okay. All right. And we'll roll some dice and see what we get. 68. Is that enough to advance the clock? Is that the first one? It is. That's absurd. Well, let's see. What did I roll before? Or what did you roll for the wing activation? You rolled this is a seven three. three. Yeah. Yeah. See, we got to exceed ten. Oh. Okay. And we have we have been resolutely failing to exceed ten, which obviously suits us fine because we got more moving to do than he does. Right. All right. So that is even with our plus one, that's enough for him to get uh, the next activation. Okay. And, uh, well, he had a pretty good idea there, refilling his okay. drink. I'm back. He's back. He's a man oh, with a plan. It's not an alcoholic, so. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's disappointing. Yeah. All right. I, I will be back in just a moment, though. But it, All right. it's, it's your, your activation, activation for a, a single activation, David. 
my activation for yep. a single one activation. single activation. Who do I have left? Uh, uh, You've moved all the cavalry. You've got I've moved my somebody. Wing. I've moved my You've wing. got uh, I got left. Let's see. I oh I okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to move my independent uh, grenadiers then. Okay. So they could they couldn't activate with that other wing. So. Uh, and uh, they're done. <laughs> well, that was quick. All right. And that was your. That was your role? Uh, Michael's role. So it's your role, I guess, or I, I'm not sure what. Oh, actually, no, it was my role. So we're back. To yeah, you. I was going to say it looked yeah. like it was your role on there. Yep. So okay, so that means it's my role. And we did move the end turn one. Yep, right. we did. Yep. All right. So now let's see if I can do another special result. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. That's, That's going to you. be a Prussian activation. And it's going to move the end turn to two. Yep. Uh, so I'll get that. We wait for it. So um, I will activate Tresha down here and. Uh, boop, 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 for them to turn. Actually, what did you do on the the last one? Just while I was gone. Um, I I I had a couple of units that were here that were like double stacked, so I just backed ah. them up so they wouldn't be such big fat targets. I'm gonna yeah. do the same thing here as well. So this right. guy can turn one hex. What's it gonna? Take for him to turn. He's in line. It's going to go to column. And then from column back to line. So if this guy, if this guy here, the top unit, he wants to turn to march column. So that looks like it's cost one, if I'm reading yep. this correctly. Yep. So then that's going to be a half and another half. And then he can turn back into, two. so two, so then he can turn back into line, and that's one. Yep. And this chap's going to do the same thing, and this chap's going to do the same thing. Come on, unstack. There we go. Wow. Yeah, that's some serious maneuvering there. Yeah. Okay. That's it. For and it's mine. your role. Yep, it's your role, Michael. Right then. <laughs> and the intern still doesn't move. Well, we moved David got it to move time. one. He rolled a 12. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay. Bye. All um, right. I'm all done with my stuff. So now you can. Because all the rest of those guys, you're, you're okay leaving as they are. Yeah, okay. yeah, everybody. I, yep. Winterfeld's not going to do anything exciting, so. Winterfeld is coming. Yes. And naturally, this is the moment that Her Majesty Lady Guinevere, a.k.a. Spoohead, sits on my chest. <laughs> no. Spoohead? We, we call her Spoo because that seems so much more fitting her personality than Guinevere, which seems awfully, like, distinct and distinctive and distinguished and dignified. And Spoo is anything but dignified. She's a knucklehead. There you go. But every now and again, she's terribly, terribly needy and then gets on my chest. So I will attempt to do this um, one-handed. I guess. Hmm, okay. How can, are right. you lying down while you're playing? Are you, I'm reclining you're... on the futon. <laughs> I'm not lying down, but you know, I've got a nice horizontal uh, diagonal surface. Okay. Me, so. All right. Okay. You're All obviously right. more comfortable. I am. Get off the things. <laughs> Good. Yeah, he's got his mount monitor mounted on the ceiling. He's there just laid back. There you go. <laughs> I can see that. You just want to make sure it's well secured. We don't want Some to read the put, obituary. 
Some people put mirrors on the ceiling, you know. There you some go. people put a monitor on the ceiling. <laughs> okay, where was I? I was going to activate someone, if that wasn't going to be too much trouble for anyone. Yep, knock yourself out. All right. Um, and I can't believe how big this outfit is, so I'm just wanting to make sure that I haven't lost my mind. Um, Kleist. Or is it Kleist? We'll call him Kleist. Is it I E or E I? E I. <laughs> that's uh, that's Kleist. It's yeah. Kleist in German, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. I, I, it's, I, an, I, uh, it's an enormous outfit. Yeah. I always remember that because the my German teacher uh, back in high school there always his little thing was I E E E I I Wiederholen Z. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, obviously. I mean, it, uh, which was basically E I is pronounced as I, and I E is pronounced as E, and Peter Holland Z is repeat after me, basically. Uh, oh, very good. Very good. No, um, I think, um, I think it's just the way I remember it is it's just backwards from English, where usually if you see two vowels together, you pronounce them. You're, you're more likely to pronounce the first one. But in German, you always pronounce the second one. Yeah. At least the way we pronounce it. So let's just take a look. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy. Right, so anyway, you're going to make me nuts. Go find a place to fall asleep. Person. Who is this? You're doing? Kleist? Yeah, that Kleist is actually right here. I, I don't know where here. I'm, I'm just looking on your order of battle here. He's oh. under Leswitz. So yep. look in the second yep. row over to yep. the right next to the artillery. That's Kleist. Right. So it looks like he's got four regiments. <laughs> well, I guess that is an L after that. It yeah. Looks like... Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot going on there. That's uh... the the oh, bane of some of the stuff. Yeah, Why nice couldn't story. they have been fighting in Italy? And we would have had proper, you know, lettering for our stuff instead of this Germanic, Gothic lettering on all of it. Oh, well. Well, honestly, it wouldn't have killed me if they just used some typeface that wasn't so horrible. Time's Roman. But, you know, what do I know? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start by putting... Um, Leschwitz with uh, this unit in order to attach him to Kleist's um, activation. Cool. And so that's one, two, three, four, and uh, just put him there. And then we'll take the other unit and do the exact same thing, but with a different <laughs> wing leader. Bevern will be with him, babysitting him. And uh, we'll put him right there. Put him right there. So, you see, just like that. Viola. And Viola, as they say. Um, now... Let's see, I believe this is an enormous unit here, so it's going to take me a minute. Well, it's only, it's only it, eight. It's eight, <laughs> eight battalions, which is, I don't know, it's pretty good size considering it's, it's way bigger, well, I guess I've got one other one that's that big yeah sure otherwise me. yeah they're, they're not really that, that many that are that big um oh to heck with it i'll just go ahead and do it all right so these guys of course were following in the same road column, so that's as far as they can go. Yep. And 
that's that. Uh, oh dear, that's annoying. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, I'll just go ahead and bring him on map and uh, flip him over. So and, which and, which way are you sending them? So southwest. I know, but Brandis is down here where I'm at. I agree. And he and Kleisten Lestwitz are, or, or Kleisten Brandis are both under Lestwitz. I, I, I okay. get it. Okay, all right. I, I'm confused. There, there's, there's, <laughs> there is madness to my madness. Sir. Oh, okay, cool. I'm glad that there's madness to your madness. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't have it any other way, is there? Okay, so clearly it's going to take a while to get these guys on board. Because that is, um, that is just, that is a lot of guys that need to come on board. Yeah. So it's just going to take a while. It's all good. We laugh, we cry, we learn a little bit about ourselves. All right, let's roll the dice again. It's to you, Eric. Okay. Hey, 46. Hold on. Oh, you just sent Bevern to the graveyard. Y yeah, because graveyard is right above flip. <laughs> and I twitched. Okay. You All right. Blame the My apologies. Carry on. All right. So I rolled a 46. That is going to be a Austrian activation. Mm, I think I, that's... If I, I have any left? I don't think that's an Austrian. I, I, 46, 46 I don't, would be. I don't get my... But I don't get my plus three, right? Why not? Because I hate you because of that special. Oh, we haven't yeah, been we haven't right. been paying We've attention to that, that, of course. Yes, you're exactly okay. right. So that's us, I guess. Right, because it would be like an eight to six. Yep. All right, so it's another one for us. Yeah. Uh, no, I have is... been paying attention to that. I well, thought. good for you. Good for you. <laughs> um boy. We may be getting pretty low on things we can do, though, because we've got lots of units jammed off board. Yeah. And I think we've moved about everybody we wanted to move on board. Right? Uh, hey, you're the king. I've done what well, I, I mean, can. You, <laughs> I well, can't bring right, anybody I mean, else on. You've I got, mean, like, Unless they're going to be one, marching. You've got... Winterfeld. Yep. So, um, and then we've got units that are off board. Yeah. So. So I mean, you could just. I mean, here I'll just flip Winterfeld for the sake of mm -hmm. flipping him. Right. And I can flip Schwerin for the sake of flipping him. Flipping this and flipping that. Yep. Yeah. All right. And sixty six oh one isn't one of your roads to come in on is it it's not what it says even though yes i would love it if it was but i'm pretty sure it just says 6701 yeah it says 6701 yeah must enter 6701 in road column commands enter in the order listed but the artillery and leaders can enter at any time which i took advantage of yeah your 1021 comes in on that one Okay, sixty six oh one. Brown Schweigers. Right, and then Prince Henry is coming in at five fifty one oh one, which is the other one that's over here further to the west. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yep, it says oh, okay. at, at 1020, Prince Henry, Prince Henry. Oh, that's. Comes in that's over there. 1020. Yeah. That's right. With his wing. His wing a ding. Okay, cool, cool. All right, what do we want to do? Are we all done with things we can really do? Um, Well, I mean, I guess we. Well, first of all. Well, David hasn't gotten all of his activations done, so yeah. we definitely need to carry on. Okay, so somebody so needs David, to roll. I think it's David your roll, roll, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 
Alright, let's see. Oh. We now have another uh -oh. red special result. And that is a Prussian special result. That's probably an fate. army lapse it's too, a, isn't it? Oh, it's no, fate. It's oh, it's fate. Oh, jeez. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so, so then I'm going to roll, roll a die? single die, it looks like. Okay, go ahead and roll, Michael. Um, hold on, hold on. Roll. Oh, I see. It doesn't matter who rolls it. It's a yeah. fate result. I roll one it die, and we see who who fate affects. Yep, a two. So that's going to be Baron. Baron. And, and then, then we go down to fate. Uh, on a zero, he's killed. On a one, he's wounded. On anything else, it's no effect. So roll again, Michael. All right. Oh, God, no pressure. Yeah, it's vassal. What can you do? It's a three, so it's no effect. Okay. Oof. All right. So, David, back to you. Uh, okay. So, yes, back to me. Boom. Bam. 24. That's another activation of yours, unless you don't have anything you can activate anymore. I don't think um, we've got any. I mean, I don't I have don't, anything. I don't think we do because uh, we're we're all jammed up. So I believe it's an activation for you. It, um, and I've got okay, so left. You've I got have... one more of Koenigsegg's on the left flank, I guess, and then you got those reinforcements, right? Ustel, and then I've got the reinforcements, so I guess I should do Ustel first. Um, all right, let's see. So he's got those two, those. A seven and eight there, a seven and an eight there, and Data analysis shows too many variables. two sevens back there. Right. I think that's it, right? Right. Just holding down the left flank all by his lonesome self. No problem. <laughs> Piece of cake. All right, and right now it looks like okay. Now, the ones on the road are they're not in command, right? Because but why wouldn't the they road... be? Doesn't command go down the road? Doesn't no, it count? No, no, I remember this is a oh. subtle distinction, but command leaders to commanding another their command troops. Leader. Okay, yeah. that's right. It's but command leaders talking to their own troops. No, okay, so yeah, they are out of command. On the other hand, they're in march column, so they can move four hexes straight ahead. Well, no, three hexes straight ahead, because I guess that slope is going to slow them yeah. down a little bit. Well, they got two, but still. They got two slopes. Oh, that's a good point. That's yeah, they're actually going to be a lot. Yep, yeah, that's going to be one. Wow, yeah, so they really can only move two hexes. That sucks. Now... Um, well, the slope, it, the slope counts as half when you're in march column. That's right. Exactly. So, so they could move. one, and that would be one and, and a half. One and a half, and then you can't go any farther. Yeah. And to go, if if I want to put that in road. Uh, it would cost you two, two. movement points to go into road, and you could advance your front hex so i could put this and put both of them in a road right there right extend behind here yes yep. yes there. you could extend yeah effectively yeah you've extended one forward and one backward yes that would work okay i think i'm going to do that mm -hmm. so, so on that and the other two let's see here 
I'm going to take uh, the front one, so go into column, that's one. <laughs> Two, oh, actually it's not quite two. There's a, there's a hill for one of those. Uh, that's two and a half for that one and two for that one, three and a half and three. Do that. <laughs> and let's see here. Um, one. And the woods are one. Well, they're not going for woods. All right. So that's half. One and a half. Two. Three. Actually, I can go there. All right. All right, and now you gotta get your Actually, leader to split the difference back somehow, man. There, I'm gonna put two. Tail end, one, two, three. Yeah, uh, tail end still is. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. He's part of the thing. All right, so there, those two are in, those four behind are still all in command, right? They should be one, two, three, four. Yep. And the, you've got communicating battalions, I guess, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. so, so, all right. Just plunk down road markers and you're good to go. Yep. Yeah, so they would all be in command next turn. All right. Uh, let's see. Is it my turn to roll? Sure, why Michael's not? turn to roll. It might be mine, actually. Okay. Yeah, you normally go after David. Well, this right. is going to be an Austrian wing activation. And <laughs> is that a wing down there? His reinforcements are just, I think they're just one... They're just a command one brigade, right? Just one lousy command. Yeah. So that's how many? So I'm looking it. for him. Where is he? He's, He's in the upper here. left. No, I'm sorry. I'm looking for him on the OOB. In the upper left of the command chart. It's Hollenzolern. He's under Esther. He oh! Oh, sorry. Oh, yes, yes, I get it now. I was looking at the wrong layer of the org chart, so. Two, three, four, two, three, four, right. Two, three, four, right. Yeah. Why did you stop there? That's all the farther I could get, right? You got a movement of six, don't you? Oh, that's cavalry. Oh. 
Should be able to get him there. To there, yeah. I didn't realize that was cavalry. I was thinking it was an infantry. Okay. Some more cavalry coming. Cool. You shouldn't have said anything. That's not how we roll here in the 18th century, sir. We're all very gentlemanly. You 19th century people might have a different idea about this. Hey, but... you guys are enemies of the revolution. Liberté, égalité, fraternité. Uh, uh, yeah, unless, ask... unless you are an aristocrat, in which case... Ask your King Louis him. what he thinks about fraternité right now. <laughs> I'm going to... Well, let's see. All which right. Louis do we have? Is this Louis the 15th? Plunking around here? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Definitely not Louis the Fourteenth. He's No, he's yeah. he's gotta be gone by now. Yeah. Okay. And I guess that so that's that guy. That's my last command. All right. Okay. Um so if we're going to to do that end turn wackiness. It really isn't anything to do because there's nobody left. That's then, then we're just we're done. Then we're just done, right? Yeah, because yeah, nobody cause... can fire. Nobody can undisorder. Nobody can do anything else. And nobody's on the board, so it doesn't really make any sense to do anything further. Even yeah. though we have other other formations that haven't activated, but they also aren't on the board, so I don't think it matters. Yeah. So. In spite of taking an hour and 15 minutes to figure out what the heck we were doing, gentlemen, I think we've done it. Yep. One turn done. Woo-woo. One turn done. So it's now the 940 turn? Correct. Oh. Zoot allure. All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to save this. Oh, I guess I need to create a new folder to store this in. We can do the end move thing before you save it. Oh, yes, yes, that's probably wise. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, so we click the end turn marker. That obviously, there's nobody shaking. There's no reason to worry about the rally face. So we'll just go straight to the end turn. Flip everybody back over. Everyone is magically flipped over. Right. And then I click save. And I say... Uh, Rog, and I say new folder. And it is 0940 start. Yep, that will be our next turn. Marvelous. All right. Well, gentlemen, it was a pleasure. I, I, I actually feel reasonably comfortable we'll manage to stagger our way through this. I think so, too. All I right. can't wait for... for uh, the yeah. stuff to hit the rotary impeller? Yes, pretty much. There's going to be yeah. a lot of that happening, I have no doubt. Yeah, I so. think we've got a couple of turns of, of bringing on reinforcements, and then yeah. stuff's going to happen. That is the general hope. That's right. So. And then, uh, unfortunately, what I think we're we're going to find is that it's going to be an empty triumph. I don't think so. We are going to do better than Frederick. Are you? Oh, Good absolutely. For you. Good for you. Come on, Michael. I mean, between the two of us. Unfortunately, Frederick was, well, I think, but what made it an empty triumph is the fact that Frederick couldn't prosecute a siege. I mean, he couldn't punch his way out of a damp paper bag as far as siege. For all that he was skilled in battlefield maneuvering, he never was very good at siege warfare. Ah. So he he wasn't going to be able to reduce Prague. And obviously, since the Austrians have another army that's going to show up in a couple of weeks and we're going to have another battle down the road, Colleen... That's that's what makes this the empty triumph. Yeah, well. That and of course, what was it? Schwerin got killed here, right? Winterfeld. 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 Got killed, yeah. Winterfeld. And yeah. He so. was one of the more capable of his commanders there. So. Yeah. So that's kind of an expensive victory at that yeah. point. 
But, all right. Well, right. gentlemen, I hope you all have a marvelous week, and we will uh, we will see you again next week. All right, and to all of our viewers out there, thanks for being patient. I hope that you enjoyed it. We'll catch you guys next week for the next installation. Woo-woo! Woo! -woo. Boop.